What's up sneaker fam, we're here with another unboxing. This is Nick's Kicks, I am Nick, and today we're gonna show you guys another unboxing, and it's gonna be a pair of Adidas shoes. Um, as you guys can see, if you are subscribers or if you've watched my recent videos, I am wearing my Germany vintage crew neck um, that I picked up in my Adidas haul. If you're new and watching this for the first time, I will put an annotation to the video of the Adidas haul up in this corner, so you can click there if you wanna check it out after you watch this. Don't forget to always give it a thumbs up and a comment if you got any comments down below, even on the videos in the past. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. Um, for this video, hold on one second, let me just get organized here. We have a pair of Adidas shoes that I picked up at the Adidas outlet from Niagara Falls. Um, this is the it's the big new mall, the outlet mall that they have before uh, Lundy's Lane. So I was able to pick up these shoes. I'm going to show you guys the box real quick. As you guys can see, got that, that boost box. And on the box here it says I paid, regular for the shoes was $150, as you guys can see there. Well, let's see if the camera will focus. $150, and I paid the $89.95 plus tax, which came out to $101.64. And you know what, you guys can let me know down below in the bottom, in the comment section, if this was a sneaker steal or not, me personally, I think it is, considering the price of what the shoe is and the price is for most of the Boost models. Um, anyway, I'm going to take them out of the box right now. Here we go. We got them both here, and it is the Adidas Pure Boost 1, not the Pure Boost 2, in the Reveal M, that's what they're called. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I walked into the Adidas outlet and I was able to find a pair of Boost shoes, um, especially the Pure Boost, not the Ultra Boost, unfortunately, but the Pure Boost. I'm always kind of a little um, disappointed, I want to say, when I go into the Adidas outlets compared to some of the Nike outlets with regards to finding some of the stuff. I mean, yes, I know it's hit and miss. I understand it's an outlet, but I was pleasantly surprised, excuse me, when I found these. I'm really happy that I'm able to have a pair of Pure Boost in my collection now. Um, I love my Pure Boost 2s, which I have here to show you guys as well. Pure Boost 2s, as you can see, I got the, the shoe tree inside to keep it straight because like these ones, when you see, even though they got the, the, the cardboard shoe tree in here, you can see that they're curved. So once I put my, I get my pair of Ikea ones in there, I might actually keep the cardboard ones in for now, but it'll definitely start to straighten out and have a straight shoe as opposed to the curve. Um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised I was able to find these, especially for the price. Definitely a shoe you can't go wrong. I went on Saturday and got these. It is now Monday. Um, they might have some sizes. They had plenty of sizes when I was there. Um, the funny thing enough, though, is that I had to actually go half a size up. Normally, I'm a 10, just a straight up 10 in all the shoes I've worn. But with this one, I had to go to a 10 and a half because it was a little snug in the toe box. I don't know why. I don't remember having that problem when I tried on the Pure Boost ones when they came up before. Um, but yeah, so I had to go up to a 10 and a half. Absolutely comfortable shoe. I definitely recommend any of the Boost models if you are have to walk a lot or even if you want to work out or just a comfortable shoe to wear in general. The Pure Boost or any Boost for that matter, you can never go wrong. It's a definitely, it has become a go-to shoe for a lot of sneaker heads and even people in general. So definitely Definitely a top pick for anybody who's into shoes or just wants something comfortable to walk in. I am still looking for a pair of Ultra Boosts. Um, if anyone has a pair of 10 or 10 and a halfs in the Ultra Boosts and they want to hit me up, give me a deal maybe, even though I'll pay retail for them. Link it down below in the comments and maybe we can link up and I'll pick up the shoes from you. Until then guys, follow me on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'll put those down below. And once again guys, Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for Nick's Kicks. Peace, guys.